Welcome to Guitarnivore. Today, I normally don't do unboxings. I've tried it before in the past, but I screwed it up um, with my 50 CV Tele, and the sound wasn't right. It was just a mess. But this time, I'm hoping I get it right because I got something really cool. Got this from Sweetwater. It's an exclusive Sweetwater. Sweet, yeah, Sweetwater. And uh, I'm looking to buy a Fender. Didn't get a fender. Got some sweet water candy. So let me get a little closer here. Uh, the usual sweet water warranty information and whatnot. More padding. They pad these boxes really well. This is the first uh, guitar I've ordered from Sweetwater. And uh, they, um, they packaged it really well. Nice, saw uh, good padding in there. As you can see, it's a Squire. And hopefully this isn't another box, inside another box, but it's got a, it's got a Sweetwater seal here. I just cut it. Um, and what they do, they do a 55 point inspection on the guitar before they send it out. And of course it's, oh, no it's not. That was a guitar box in another box. It is, no, no it's not. Here's your stuff you get from Squire, the uh, instructions and uh, your Allen wrenches and more packaging. Tag. So that is that is it. Here are these boxes. I a mess of boxes to get rid of. I get done with this. So. What we've got here, as you can tell by that gloss, this is a classic vibes. Got a bug. This is a classic vibes Telecaster, but it's not just any classic vibes Telecaster. This is a Sweetwater exclusive Sapphire Blue. Let's uh, let's see if we can get some some better light here. Look at that. You can, if you look close enough, you can see the grain. You see the grain through it, and it's uh, it's a beautiful blue, I tell you. Wow. I love the uh, classic vibes guitars because I love the necks. The necks always feel good, and uh, everything looks nice on it. It's got it's a it's a semi hollow, as you can see. It's got an F hole there. And uh, bugs, and it feels really uh, feels real good. I'm eager to uh, see how those modern wide range pickups sound. See if it's out of tune. <laughs> it's way out of tune. So I'm going to take this part. I'm not going to take this part. I'm going to take this part of the video. And then we're going to fast forward and I'm going to take it upstairs and plug it in and see how it sounds. It's been about two weeks since that last part of that, um, well, since the first part of that unboxing video. Uh, people get busy and I just kind of wanted to get a feel for the guitar as well. I wanted to play before I shot another video. So I've had two weeks to play around with it, to get everything set like I want it set. I put some new strings on it. I put some 500K full size pots on it. It had 250K dime size. I put a 0 0.022 capacitor in it, it had, I, I, I believe it was a 0 0.047 and, uh, and it just, while the pickups sounded good, to me they could have been a little stronger, a little bolder. So I put the 500k pots in there and the capacitors, uh, put some 8s on here, had the Diodero, um 9s on there. and. I like eights, and I tried these Ernie Ball Cobalt, Ernie Ball Cobalts out, and uh, I really like them. So let's look at the guitar a little bit more. As you can see, well, you might not be able to see unless you get really close right there, if it'll focus. The last, uh, all the CVs and Fender, uh, or the CV and VM before have had Fender bent saddles. These ones actually say Squire on them, and the uh, pickups also say Squire on them. I believe they're trying to make a 
not trying to break away from Fender, but at the same time, you know, make Squire more prominent. Um, it's got that nice, beautiful blue finish. I don't know if you'll be able to see the green. Yeah, you can see that green through that light. Isn't that pretty? Uh, nice string through design. It's obviously a thin line, so it's semi hollow and nice and light. Um, the back of the neck and the headstock is tinted darker than the fretboard. I really like that. It does have the split shaft um, tuners, the vintage style. And um, these were this one was made in Indonesia, whereas my CB's 50 uh, Telecaster was made in China. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I like them both. Um, I do have to say one thing I don't like about this, uh, it, something may I've noticed, and maybe I just haven't given enough time for the strings to really settle. Up on the wall behind on a camera shot, I have a uh, 2017 uh, VM Strat, uh, 70 style. And that also has the split shaft vintage style tuners on it. But that one seems to stay in tune better than both of my Telecasters. Now, I don't know if, it's, if there's a difference in where these were made, um, or maybe, maybe it's just my imagination. Uh, maybe I don't play that one as much as I used to, so I don't have to tune it as often. But other than that, I really got no complaints. Uh, what I do is a guitar pick. I got one around here somewhere. There we go. Um, we're going to play it up a little bit. Get tangled down here. And uh, we're going to see how it sounds. I've got it running through a Boss Katana Artist 100 watts of loudness. It's amazing. And I'm going to have to switch over the panel on the GAFC here. And let's play let's play some clean tones. We'll play through the bridge, just just strum on some chords. <laughs> We can get a little uh, get a little lead sound here. some acoustic uh, let's go to like acoustic simulation That's just something I was playing with today. Oh, uh, let's 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 get it dirty. We're not gonna go straight to the throat just yet, but we're gonna add a little grit to it. Sounds great with these humbuckers. Now let's make her cry.
about covers it. Um, I really, really like this. Uh, uh, I believe it's well worth the money I spent on it. And if you've got the opportunity, by all means, uh, get yourself one. It's a Fender Special Run. It's exclusive to Sweetwater. That's the only place you're going to find it right now. It's a Squire uh, CB70s Thin Line Telecaster. And it's got the wide range pickups and uh, some hollow body. It's a great guitar. Uh, don't ever let anyone tell you that, that Squires are only good for beginners. I'm not calling myself anything more than a beginner. Um, but they're not just for beginners. It's We're way past that point. Maybe in the early 90s. But uh, not anymore. So, get yourself one. Until next time, see ya.